welcome to Virtual Accomplishment Wants the Battle, the Wants the Battle tag set up by Birdkeeper Toby and I have been tagged. First question, how did you come up with your YouTube channel name? Now, I can't remember the exact quote, but it sort of comes from, um, it was inspired by Big Bang Theory and it was the Age of Conan episode where uh, Penny gets caught up in the MMO and Leonard says something like um, about people losing themselves in a virtual world to get some false kind of accomplishment and I kind of combined the two. Actually I think I misremembered the quote and just thought it was virtual, false sense of virtual accomplishment but it's, it's not actually that but it is inspired by the Big Bang Theory which is something I don't think I've ever mentioned on the channel before so thanks for that question in the tag Toby. Second question What is the coolest merch you've got this year? I'm guessing, it doesn't actually say Pokemon merch on the question but I'm guessing you mean Pokemon merch Toby and that is the hardest thing for me to answer if any of you follow me anywhere you know I kind of acquire a lot of Pokemon stuff so that is a really really difficult question and since I was tagged I've been trying desperately to think what I've got this year because it all kind of blurs together but I have to say what I've got on the substitute hoodie I picked it up at the Pokemon World Championships in Anaheim and unfortunately it is only a small and I'm an extra small and they don't seem to be making many extra small hoodies anymore. Pokemon Company, what are you doing? Like, come on, extra small. I mean, I can get away with wearing small but just a little, a little bit smaller would have been great. But yeah, substitute and the patterns on the hood, they, they are just, it's just, I love, I love this hoodie. I'm going to put the sleeves down because it doesn't look very good when they're up, but yeah, I'm getting a bit warm, the heating's on. <laughs> this Ditto plush I got at MCM. Actually, well, Joe bought it. I'm not sure if it's mine or his or ours, but um, look at it. Ah! I love it. It is so, so, so adorable and cute and squishy. And I just, I love it. Um, yeah, it's kind of a life size. I always wanted a life size Ditto plush, and it's official. It's one of the brown Presto ones, so um, don't buy bootleg. But yeah, I get a lot of Pokemon stuff, and this is being recorded before Christmas as well. And I know I've got some really cool stuff for Christmas, and there's stuff that I don't know about, and I might be getting some really cool stuff for Christmas. But hopefully, this time next year, if I'm tagged again. I'll be able to show you more cool stuff. Video I am most proud of making this year. Now, that is a, another really, really difficult question. I am pretty proud of all my videos. I think the quality of my videos has drastically uh, improved. I've bought some new equipment and that has really, really, really helped the quality of what I produce. Well, just... <laughs> I didn't think the Build-A-Bear videos would be quite as re well received, um, for those of you who don't know, Build-A-Bear Workshop have been producing Pokemon plush and those videos are doing crazy, crazy, crazy well. So I guess I'm really proud of those and I, I just think the build -A the quality of those bears are just, I love them and obviously going into next year that there will be more of those as well which I will try my hardest to be able to afford more to show you guys. And of course uh, the toys, um, the Toby toys, any kind of Pokemon toys. I am so excited to be doing more of those videos because you guys love the toys and I love the toys and I'm excited to see what new toys, like articulated figures, um, they bring out next and also that's something I can go on to I will be doing those more figure videos I've got loads of Pokemon Nendoroids to open and I'm really really excited to share those figures with you guys um, I've been dying to open some of these figures I've had for a long time but now as you see I finally got space and there's an, there's an empty shelf there and that's where they're going to go and yep 
stay tuned. Favourite Pokemon memory from this year? Again, there's just so many to choose from, but ones that really stick out in my head were being at the Pokemon World Championships in Anaheim, California. That alone is just one massive, awesome memory. Just going outside the convention center and seeing hundreds of people playing Pokemon Go and it was crazy and I was on my way to get food and there was a big cluster of people. I thought, ah, something might be going on here. I looked at my phone and there was three Tauros and three unknown just there and that's what everyone was getting. So I was like, food can wait, I'm gonna catch these unknown. And yeah, no regrets. I, I was really hungry, but unknown more important. Another memory I can picture quite well is at the opening ceremony of Pokemon World Championships where there was a new trailer had just dropped just before the start of uh, the ceremony and we decided to join in a Skype call with Australia PD Winner and Verky for Toby as they were going to do a podcast obviously Joe can join the podcast but we quickly joined in the Skype call from our seats at the opening ceremony just to say hello and that just really blew my mind because even though I use the internet every day and Skype people but we were literally Skyping from the other side of the world and I don't know Never really something I thought about before, but that was pretty cool. What advice would I give someone starting YouTube? Basically, don't go into it expecting to be the next big thing. This is a platform of millions and millions of voices, and you got to be really lucky to be heard. Uh, never give up and you are gonna be starting small don't invest in hundreds and hundreds of pounds dollars whatever worth of equipment until you are ready for it um, it takes time to build your audience and learn how to use software and equipment efficiently and just don't be disheartened when you're not meeting the quality of what you're picture in your head because I know that is something I struggle with like I see amazing videos and I'm like why don't mine look like that and um, you do gradually learn to improve and just remember it is a gradual process and of course very topical right now don't go into it thinking you'll earn a lot of money what can viewers expect from my channel next year well, as I previously said, War Build a Bear on Toys, that seems to be a very popular yet expensive for me um videos to produce. Um I do enjoy making them so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing them um for you guys. As I recorded this, I'm expecting Build a Bear, Yoshi and Bowser to turn up any second. I know they're not Pokemon, but it's Yoshi and Bowser, so I, I had to get them. Um, even though Bowser's for Joe for Christmas, but he already knows that, he asked for it. And yeah, so a lot more toys, uh, figures, as I said, I'll be doing some figure unboxings, Nendoroid and whatever else. Uh, and a lot more Pokemon cards, because I love Pokemon cards, I have a problem. Also, there is going to be a joint channel, me and Joe, I've set up a joint channel and um, that's what I'm going to say for now, but got some exciting stuff planned and I'll let you guys know as soon as it's ready. Name a smaller channel that your viewers will love. Um, this is difficult, I don't think I watch any channels smaller than mine, I mean, at the time of recording, just over 1,500 which blows my mind, but every person I watch is a lot bigger than me. Uh, I, I honestly can't think of any. So I'm gonna pass this on to you in the comments. Tell me your favorite YouTubers, small, large, just this, this, this bit's for you. Just pop, pop. Uh, even if it's your own channel, pop a comment down in the description. I'll check it out and yeah, I, Got a lot more time these days, I'll be uh, I'm keen to find some new channels to watch.
Tag three people. Again, this is another really, really difficult one because a lot of the people I know have already been tagged. So I'm gonna tag Sarah B. Joe, which he's downstairs watching TV, and this is all set up. So um, when he gets back upstairs, I'm gonna say, hey Joe, you're up, camera's set up, no excuses, do your tag. So Sarah B. Joe, you have been tagged. I would also like to tag Again, really difficult, everyone I know has been tagged. Um, I would like to tag Lulu the Pikachu and Lee Provost. You may know these two from commentating Pokemon Championship events all across the world. So, you guys, I love you, you're tagged. Look forward to seeing your responses. And of course, this isn't just for me to tag, this is an open tag, all tags are being added to a playlist over at Birdkeeper Toby's channel. I know when I'm editing this, I'll have these on in the background just to see what other people have said, because I've not had time to watch them yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing all the replies from this tag. So I'm gonna stop rambling and edit this quickly, and yeah, my camera is about to die. I forgot to charge it, so thank you for watching this video, and thank you, yeah. <laughs> Bye.